my name is Milagros Garcia and I'm here with Belinda, say hi. Hi. <laughs> and today, as you can see, look, if you can zoom in, Clarissa, um, we have a whole bunch of different um, products, all very, very uh, affordable and expensive for the customers. Now for the holidays, you want to do different uh, baskets at a different budget. Some of these we raffle, some of these we give away, and they're laying down, but in reality, they're gonna be looking like this. And I put, I like to put a sample, this is passion, and then we tie them. I'm gonna demonstrate some of them, how I do them. Look at these, the nail color with just a little flower. What I like about these is that um, the flowers, I bought them at the Dollar Tree and I used everything, including these right here. So I took the flowers apart. Look how pretty this is and colorful. I made sure that there were small flowers. And of course, all these are gonna be standing up. They won't stand up because uh, they're not in the plastic yet, in the, um, the bag. Okay, these bags are called shirt bags. They're um, nine by 12. These are the little ones. And the little ones you can use with the cups. See how cute this is. And of course, this is standing up. Look how simple this is. This could be so cute for a school teacher, a neighbor. These are the kids' um, baskets. And they have um, one of the Naturals lip balm and the um, um, Skin So Soft Bogart. And look at these. So you put those in there inside of your, in the small bag. I use the larger, the larger bags for the big baskets, the bigger baskets. And they're 15 um, by 18. So let's get started. Okay, I want to come over here first before we start the baskets and give you some ideas. Um, book tossing. A lot of you have asked me about book tossing. Look how neat this book is. Well, I'm going to show you what I do with this. You can hang it on the door, like if you're uh, at the apartment complex, you can just take them out and hang them on the doors. Or if you want to do your book tossing, you can just tuck them in like this. And look how easy it is, okay? Um, I'm going to use, well, let's just use this one. Let's take it out of the bag because I, I want to show you different types. So take these out. See how you have, for my business card and um, recruiting flyer, we have been using these um, lately. These are uh, 10 to 1 page and one side is in English and the other side it's in Spanish. So you get five of these in one page at three cents a copy at Office uh, Depot. It's a steal. Okay, so you have your bag. Look how easy this goes. So you don't have to start, you know, buy the, um, the, the wrap um, tape that you tape it on top. Look how simple this is. You open it and that's it. And then you move on to the next one. Okay, I want to show you something else. These come free with Avon. Uh, some, um, some of you have asked me, how do we get these? Well, when you order books, the company send you these free um, catalogs. Do not put these um, catalogs, the, the little pamphlets, inside the books. Uh, these are meant to find new customers. So when you're out and about prospecting, you can use these to find new customers and uh, new representatives but uh, if you have any leftover these are free from the company and I like to use these with the, um, the uh, recruiting label here uh, this gives the person that gets it the idea that they can also start their own business and of course it's with the recruiting flyer uh, you put your label you stamp your book or you put your business card these are the What's New bags, as we all know them. They are uh, 50 for a dollar with tax and everything. So 
What I do with these, I just put it in here with the receipt book so that it can weigh a little more so when we're doing the book tossing. These you have to tie in the top and you don't have to get the tape to tie them. You just go like this and tie a knot, okay? And that's it, okay? I have seen some of my representatives who tape them, they go like that and tape them. Another idea, how many of you get marked books that are left over? Okay, I get, I get uh, marked books that have already expired or left over, so I don't throw them away. I do the same thing, I put a receipt book in there with the recruiting flyer, don't forget that. I stamp my book and then I put it in here and this is a great way to find new customers, to find new recruits, and, and I tie them the same way. So here are some ideas for those of you who like book tossing. You have to be careful in some areas because some areas do not allow you to do book tossing. They will call um, code enforcement on you. So just be careful where, where you um, do your book tossing. Communities, don't do them. Um, okay, so let's get with the basket. Hope this helps you, okay? So I got a new um, organizer. These are to pull my scissors and these are to pull my tape. Um, I show my team how to do baskets, so I want to keep my supplies organized so they can know where the tape is, where the ribbons are. So I thought these were cute and they would help keeping us organized. So let's take the kids basket, and this one has the price. Look, these I found at um, Publix. They were um, two for a dollar, which is incredible. So it's, this one has still the, the price on it. I'm not gonna worry about it. This is a little bit hard to take, but this one I already took it off. Okay, and then you put it in here, okay? <laughs> always the tallest product in the middle and you know what i try to make simple baskets because i am not very creative so i'm not very very creative but i learned this um, the hard way and now i do them a lot and i love doing baskets i already cut a few of them here i love doing baskets because if you're having a meeting, um, if you're having an event, instead of giving out a product, you can give out a basket and they will appreciate it so much more. At my team meetings, which I have every Wednesday, I don't give out uh, single products. I give out the baskets. And I have talked to you about what we do with the baskets and that's what I teach my team. I teach my team that um, not, to, not to open the basket or sell it, to use it as incentive when they are at the, um, at the events or um, to, to do raffles with their customers. Uh, this worked really well, well for me. Uh, if a customer has a $50, um, let's say a $40 order, you can do raffles with your customers and you can tell them, hey, look, your order was uh, $40. With $10 more, I will put you in the raffle to uh, win this free basket. And you can do any, any basket. Don't, you don't have to make them expensive. Look at these. These are leftover smooth uh, minerals. I bought a whole bunch of them when they came out to show my team. And these, this is the Aqua Express, um, you know, less than $5, um, a lot of them. So you want to make them affordable. And you can put different color ribbons. I'm not going to do it right now. Or you can put a pretty bowl. But look, see, I should have put a little bit more of um, stuffing into this one but it's okay um, so which which one else 
Okay, so let's do this one. Look, this one, how pretty. This is a leftover one that I had with the, um, the, <clears throat> the sun um, line, the yeah, sun protection line. And I want to take the products out. I want to put this in. Um, I know a lot of you have products that you, have, you got left over that a customer um, didn't buy. So um, why return it? Put it in a basket and raffle it or take it to the events and sell them. Give your customers a great deal. Thank you, my love. Mm -hmm. There you go. See, and then I put a um, glimmer stick there. Okay. So I take this, I'm going to use all white because I'm doing a whole bunch of them. Um, I bought these little plates at the Dollar Tree. They didn't have the little plates that I buy, so instead of going home empty-handed, I said, well, I'm going to try to do these and look how pretty um, they came out. So, you know, be creative and hope this helps you. Um, let me show you some more that I've done here. This is the makeup one. When you're doing the makeup one, you want it, you want to tape it so that this doesn't close. You want to tape it from the back. And this one came a little bit damaged from the company. I'm not going to return it. I'm just going to, you know, put it in the basket and it'll be fine. And then these, um, you know, some uh, planters that uh, Carlos gave me one time and he brought me some flowers in it so I um, you know threw the flowers away when they were bad and reuse it so look be creative see how nice this is this will stand up once you uh, tie it it will stand up and how much is this like less than five dollars see and you can have raffles at the open houses you can raffle them off look at this one how cute the um, um the new mascara the mega effect look how pretty and then the little leaf so this is the um eye lift pro some mark so you know as you can see there's a variety of everything a lot of them are leftover products that i didn't use um so why return them to the company? Just put them in a pretty basket, have incentives for your customers. The baskets have increased our sales, um, I would say more than 20%. It's, it's hard to say, I keep enforcing them, I keep um, doing the baskets. My team loves them. Get the bags from Uline, um, whatever size you can use, and just be creative. Do it with your team, make a lot of baskets, and have fun.